Do not get a big run and get ahead of them too far. Three Fords have separated themselves. A big push coming now for Harvick. Oh, oh and around in. goes a couple guards. Priest upside down. He's barrel rolling through the grass. Ryan Priest upside down in the infield. Caution has come out. He's on his wheels. There was fire off the left side of the car. A huge barrel roll for Priest and the AMR safety crew there to him. since we've seen a car get up in the air like that. Think back to Elliott Sadler. Usually these cars are with all the mechanisms, roof flaps and everything else. They need help to sort of get hit in a certain way, oddly to be lifted off the ground. Medical team down there attending to Ryan. like priests see him with his helmet off coming out of the car that's Ryan standing there in the middle of the AMR safety team Take another look at how this happened. They're going down the back straightaway. He makes a move or gets help from behind, and the car goes into the infield air. It just lifts right up off the ground. Violent, violent wreck. Gets a push from the 43 car, and it's airborne. I mean, I, I thought that maybe it hit, you know, the, the road course or, or some curbing or something on the – on the road course, the kink lifted that car, but it was just traveling so fast. It right happened there. right when it got in the grass. As soon as it got in the grass, that's when it started to lift. And then this is just violent. I mean, look at this car. That is just amazing that something that weighs over 3,500 pounds you get in the air like that. It looks like a toy car flying through the air. But as you mentioned, Jeff, 3,500 pounds. Such a violent accident for Ryan Price. Thankfully lands on the wheels and then was able to climb out of that race car and will get checked out in the infield care center. Look how fast. As soon as that contact happens, he just hangs a left. You said it, Jeff. As soon as the car touches the grass, something about that gap or the air or something changes and up in the air it goes right away. That is so scary. Remember, these cars are traveling at over 190 miles an hour. Yeah, 
we've seen barrel rolls, but when it climbs into the air, I mean, even right there, multiple flips. Ten. Every Ten time flips. it leaves the ground, all the dirt and everything that gets inside that car, it's just wild how fast that car was sideways and in position to get airborne. It's terrifying. You the know. This was common, though. I mean, years ago. 15, 20 years ago, these were the type of wrecks we expected to see at Daytona and Talladega. And NASCAR has changed a lot of things about these cars to try to keep them on the ground. And for the most part, unless the cars find themselves in these odd situations, it works. That right there looked exactly like what we would see in 1985, in 1990, 1995, the way this car went up in the air and barrel rolled down the back straightaway. Well, I know wife Heather is watching. Uh, they just welcomed Rebecca Marie to their family August 7th. As I mentioned, Brian Priest uh, climbed out of the car. They put him on a stretcher. You see him lying down. They'll go to the infield care center. He'll get checked out, and we will keep you updated on Ryan Priest's situation. What a ride. Ryan Priest had is again they'll take him to the infield care center here at Daytona. There's his teammate Chase Briscoe involved in the crash as well. Out of the race, out of his car. And what a night Briscoe led 67 laps here. Yeah, there's so much in intensity out there on the racetrack about trying to win this race, get yourself in the playoffs, and every driver in the field right now has switched gears into just thinking about Ryan Priest. They've, they've seen his car on the back straightaway. There's big screens around the racetrack. You look, at the, you look at it, you actually see the replay, and immediately you're concerned for the guy that you were just trying to beat to win this race. Now your concern goes to him, and your brain shifts into making sure he's okay.